This is Carl with the Racer Red Channel. I'm on the highway today, so hopefully you can hear me all right. I just passed Tom's Cabin, which is a little restaurant. It won't blow your mind, but it is very good food. I think it's a, they have a good burger and stuff like that, so it's a nice place to stop. I'm heading toward Emmett, Idaho, which is another little town neighboring the one that I live in, and it is a booming little town. It's got a lot of good food options. Uh, it's got a nice little structure to it. It's um, really close to pretty much everything, but far enough out of the way where you don't get the traffic. And uh, yeah, you know, Emmett, Idaho is a, a really nice town that I really enjoy going to. There's a lot of places there that draw me over there, one of which is Jim County Motorsports. They are my favorite motorcycle dealership, so I'll stop by and, and uh, visit with them and pick their brains sometimes, or maybe even take a tire over there, have them do a tire change on one of my bikes. So there's a lot about Emmett that I like. But uh, yeah, as I was riding, I noticed that my wrist was hurting a little bit. I remembered that I had an injury there um, a couple of years ago, more than that, three, four years ago. And I think I re-injured it doing the same thing, just kind of barely, uh, barely messed it up again. And I think partially due to being frozen solid and I didn't have the proper circulation in my joints when I was doing that exertion. So. Um, when the weather gets colder, that's when injuries tend to flare up, old injuries and, and new ones tend to come up as well, so I have to be pretty careful about how I'm doing things. Boating a motorcycle into a vehicle is one of those things that apparently can mess up my wrist because I've, that's how I injured it originally. I was loading a motorcycle before I had my super awesome step ramp. And uh, I just had to exert a lot of force and I messed up my wrist somehow, really messed it up. And it took like a year, year and a half for it to get to where it was normal again. And so a few weeks ago or two weeks ago, I was loading up and I was on a steep incline. And I had that same kind of pain, but not nearly as severe. So I think this time I just strained it a little bit. So hopefully it'll heal up and get you know out of my way in about a month or so. But I was thinking about all the injuries I've accrued over the years. And concussions are one thing that I really try to stay clear of now. I'm, I'm very aware of uh, TBIs and all the effects of that with Brett Favre just saying that he had Parkinson's and uh, Muhammad Ali having issues before he passed. I know I know a lot of people who get smacked in the head, they have issues. And I've been concussed and knocked unconscious many, many times. That's partially due to riding bicycles, the way I was riding them, riding motorcycles um, competitively in motocross. And also I did mixed martial arts and that didn't help me out either. I did cage fighting, not just mixed martial arts, but I also fought in the cage. So I've been banged around a lot. And then I was in the military, that didn't help me out any. So there's a there, there's a lot of injuries there and I try to stay clear of getting hit in the head anymore. I really stay clear of combat sports and just, I try to wear protection on my head, make sure that I'm not getting banged up. Um, my joints, I tore my leg up really bad um, during training for the special forces in the Air Force. I tore my, uh, my inner knee doing that and my, well the back of it as well, the partial tear in my hamstring. And so that has always bothered me ever since that. But then I deployed later on and tore it again on the front side on my meniscus. And it was not a cool story. It was a cool job even. I was just standing up from a bunk and it somehow just caught just right and tore my meniscus. So my right leg, like when I'm at the gym and I'm doing squats, I can feel that thing. So I just, you just have to know all the all the spots that you have to baby and I can push it pretty hard but I can't push it all the way 
I've got messed up shoulders, dislocated both shoulder, shoulders many times. Um, and uh, I messed, I crashed again last year doing some racing. And so I got run into actually and messed up my shoulder again, which I've torn those things up so bad. My left one doesn't have very good movement. Um, and this last year I smashed my right one again. And luckily it's been fairly, it's healed up fairly well. So I've had some tears there, but yeah, lots of injuries throughout the years and uh, not a lot of broken stuff. I think I may have broken my upper back based off of the pain that I remember. And I did uh, mess up a lower disc as well. So my back is jacked up too. I just keep on moving and hopefully everything keeps working. That's kind of my thought process, but injuries throughout the years they come back you know my back if i'm not working it out all the time it starts to get stiff and flare up so i need to i am a person who if i don't work out i will start stiffening up and it's not good for me so i really need to keep working out stay in really good shape because i know someday i'm gonna be you know um, it's gonna be hard for me at, at some point Probably, but you know, I haven't gone to the doctor yet. So if I go to the doctor and have to have something fixed, it's not the end of the world. Also broke my nose, have a deviated septum on the left side because I was, well, I cage fought and I was training striking. I went into my first fights just as a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu artist and grappling was my only mm. skill. That's a mistake. So I went in, to uh, several things unprepared and got smashed despite having excellent ground defense. Um, yeah, so I broke my nose and I started trying to get training for uh, striking. I went to a boxer and he broke my nose again. <laughs> so I got, I really beat up. Like it just got really beat up doing that. And so now I can't breathe very well on the left side of my nose. I've had a, had a bunch of injuries that's for sure but I don't regret anything I mean it's a really it's been a really good time so anyways this is Emmett Idaho by the way I'm in downtown Emmett Cowboys uh, Bar and Grill is up ahead on the right hand side and that's a really really good place to get a steak or a burger I highly recommend their food it's really good stuff of course you got true value and family dollar pretty much everything you want is right in town here they have a buy mart even um, Idaho Pizza Company They're really good places to eat all around here they have a Taco Bell and off to my right right here is Jim County Motorsport that is my favorite place right there they've got beta motorcycles pretty awesome spot bridge here in Emmett. I pass over this to go up and get me some ethanol free gasoline premium. It's kind of nice that there are so many spots in Emmett where you can get good gas. Even the Chevron has non-ethanol. It's not premium though. But then there's Easy, I think it's called Easy Mart. They have non-ethanol premium. And then up here is the main place I get it because it's the least expensive usually. And from what I've heard, the other gas station buys their premium non-ethanol from this gas station. I don't know if that's true or not. Here's the graveyard off to my left-hand side. It's a big one. It's really pretty though, I think. Anyways, guys, I am about to stop and get me some premium non-ethanol gasoline and head up the canyon. Thanks for watching my video. I'll be making these R1 videos every week. Catch you on the next one. Peace.